the Ryzen has been out for a few days now, so I thought I'd do this video showing you what you can do to hopefully resolve some of those connection issues you've been having in game. So if you've been having errors such as not being able to connect to servers or it's saying that the servers are offline, then this video is definitely for you because one of the methods I show you in this video will hopefully resolve the error you're having. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure you are getting the correct network speed. So you need to open up your web browser and then just simply type into Google check internet speed. You will now see Google speed test. There are other websites that offer this as well, but just go ahead and click on run speed test and see if you're getting the correct speed. So straight away I can see I am getting the correct download speed and it will then test the upload speed. So you also need to ensure you are getting an upload speed. So right there, I'm getting the correct upload speed as well. If that was to say zero, then that's going to be an issue. If it also said zero on the download, then that would have been an issue. As long as you do have the correct speeds there, then you're all good. Another thing you can quickly do as well is just head over to the site of your internet provider and just ensure there is no current issues within your local area. So once you're happy that you're getting the correct internet speeds, the next thing that we need to do is ensure that the security software on your computer is not blocking fee Ryzen to connect to the internet. So if you do have a third party program installed for security, it will have a game mode or a passive mode. Go ahead and enable that option and then launch the game and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then you could try disabling the security software and then trying again within game. And if you are then able to play the game, then you will have to add fee Ryzen to the exception list in your third party security program. Also, just remember while your security is disabled, you're not protected from security threats. So if you're using Windows security like I currently am, you need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in Windows, Defender and then Firewall. You now need to select Windows Defender Firewall you then need to click on allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall and you then need to click anywhere within this list and press fee. You will then hopefully see fee rising and you should have a tick under private and public. If you don't, then you need to click on change settings and you will then be able to tick the two boxes. If you don't see fee rising at all, then you need to click on allow another app click on browse and then search for fee rising and add it to the list and then tick the two boxes. If it wasn't the Windows firewall, then the next thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, go to update and security. You then need to select Windows security and we now need to click on open Windows security. You then need to go to virus threat protection and you now need to select manage settings under virus threat protection settings. You now need to toggle real time protection to off. Again, while this is off, you are not protected. Go ahead and launch the game again and see if you no longer have those issues. If it wasn't this that's causing the issue, you can then go ahead and turn it on. If it was, then you need to add the game to the exception list in the Windows security. And this can be done by scrolling down and then you will see the exclusions here. Just go ahead and add the game. So if it wasn't your security software that's causing the issue, then the next thing that we need to do is just right click on our network device in the bottom right hand corner. So as you can see, I've got my network adapter, right click on that, go open network and internet settings. You then need to click on change adapter options. And you now need to right click on your network adapter and go disabled. So once you've disabled your adapter, so whether it be wireless or like I currently am using ethernet, go ahead and enable it again. Once you've done that, now launch into game and see if that resolved the issue. So the next thing that you need to do is just ensure that no one else is currently downloading, streaming or anything like that on your internet, hogging up all that bandwidth. If someone is, then ask them very nicely in your household if they can come off for a minute and then you can test the game and see if that was the cause of the issue. The next thing that we need to do is right click on the start menu icon again and this time go to settings. You now need to go to update and security, then troubleshoot and you now need to select additional troubleshooters. You now need to click on internet connections and run the troubleshooter. This is now going to test our internet. Go ahead and follow the steps on this. And once you've finished doing that, go ahead and test the game if it did detect an issue and resolve it. 
If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go back to this additional troubleshooters. You now need to scroll down and select network adapter and go ahead and run the troubleshooter. And again, follow the steps in the troubleshooter. Okay, if that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do, if possible, and you're using a wireless connection, is just simply use a cable. Cable is a lot more stable and it will offer a lot faster speeds, which will hopefully resolve those issues. But if you're not able to use cable, then try and move your computer or if you're using laptop closer to the router as it will then give it a better connection. The next step that we need to do is open up Device Manager, which can be done by right clicking on the Start Menu icon and then selecting Device Manager. You then need to expand Network Adapters and you then need to right click on your Network Adapter and go Update Driver. You now need to select Search Automatically for Drivers. This is just going to ensure you have the latest driver installed. As you can see, Windows has detected that I have the best driver installed for mine. However, if I was to go to the manufacturer's website for my network adapter, so to the Realtek website, the chances are there will be a newer driver available. So go to the manufacturer's website for your network adapter and see if there's a newer driver. So if installing the latest driver for your network adapter didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing to do is restart your router. So you need to go to your router and just simply turn it off and then leave it for a few seconds and then turn it back on and this is going to restart it. Obviously ensure no one else is currently using the internet otherwise it will also cut them off the internet as well. If restarting your router hasn't helped then the next thing that we want to do is just close all this down and you then need to right click on your network adapter again and go to open network and internet settings. Now select change adapter options, right click on your network adapter and go to properties. You then need to select Internet Protocol version 4 and go to Properties. Now select Use the following DNS server address. We now need to type into the box next to Preferred DNS Server 1 and then 1, 1 and 1 and press OK. This is going to let us use the Cloudflare DNS. This can not only help improve the speed of your internet, but it will hopefully help fix those connection issues in fee rising. So once you've done that, we now need to also open up the start menu and you then need to type in CMD and go run as administrator. You then need to type ipconfig space forward slash and then flush DNS and press enter. And once you've done that, now go ahead and restart your computer and then give the game another try. That now brings me to the end of the video. If you're still having connection issues in Fee Rising, the next thing to do would be to go to the Twitter page of Fee Rising and see if they have made any announcements of connection and server issues with the game at the moment. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.